My name is Kelly Klein and I'm the Executive Director of Football Ops and Special Advisor to the GM. I am Roman Pfeiffer. I'm the Broncos Senior Personnel Executive. Basically my number one thing is to help George. Um, I'm, I came here to help George, I came here to help out this team. Um, so really helping out the college scouts, pro scouts, um, football ops, working with equipment and video departments, um, and really just trying to take things off George's plate to help him focus just on the team. I just want to get in and, and do my job and work as hard as I can. Uh, I do have experience playing, you know, I've been in locker rooms. I've been fortunate to be on good teams, you know, to win Super Bowl. So, um, I have a sense of what that feels like and so I'll just try to share whatever experiences I've gone through that can help you know this organization. I, I always wanted to be a sideline reporter or in communications, in PR. That was my, I thought that was going to be my path and then when I fell into scouting, I mean immediately I loved it. I never would have guessed that I would be in this position, especially working for this team. Um, it's, a, it's incredible, it's a dream. I think women have a huge, huge place in the NFL, in all, all across sports, um, and it keeps growing and it's going to keep continuing to grow. Um, and, and women belong, and I think it shows younger girls too who want to work in sports, you know, if it's NFL, NHL, whatever it is, um, women belong in all these men's leagues. It's a great organization, a lot of history here, a lot of familiar faces, and that speaks to the organization. I mean, they value people that do their job well, they keep them around. I got this opportunity to come here and work with this organization, so I'm excited to make that step. Throw your hips out. <laughs> Throw yourself. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Good. We had that one Ooh. mishap. You felt yeah, that? Yeah. That's fine. That's fine. The tighter we get, it's going to be harder for you, but that's much better. Much better. <laughs> God, no, that's so much better, bro. So much better, man. I've been busting my butt this off season, and uh, you know you gotta put all the work in during the off season to get the results during the season. Focus has definitely been first thing getting healthy, um, getting my body healthy, getting right, and then change of direction has been a, a main focus this year. And, you know, obviously I want to take that step to become you know a top tight end in the league. So I'm putting my down payment down right now, and and hoping for the best when the season comes. There's a lot of things that are put into success. Obviously being a leader for our team, um, being a leader um, for the tight end room on the offense and you know collaborating with the guys like Cortland and Jerry and Drew collaborate with these guys you know to make our make our team better and make our offense better and you know all of us have success at the same time that would be success for our whole team and our offense so that's what I'm uh, that's what I'm looking forward to I mean I learned a lot last season man I mean I haven't haven't really dealt with injuries before um, and I dealt with some last year and had to you know battle through those and kind of get through not being hundred percent and that taught me a lot about myself and about our team also actually, because I had tons of support and that's kind of the culture that we're developing there is just, you know, you gotta battle through things. So um, learned a lot about myself and, you know, definitely wasn't satisfied. And that's what, you know, that's what's kind of motivating me this year and, uh, you know, to get amongst those top tight ends in the league. And, you know, I think I'm getting there, but definitely have a lot more to improve on. For me to turn right, I gotta start down here on this one. And it had to be my fourth cone. It's been a fun journey. It's been challenging as well. I'm not going to say that, you know, every day has been perfect. And it hasn't been at all. There's been days where, you know, I get frustrated with myself because I expect so much out of myself that, you know, I don't, I don't want to, you know, let myself down. Um, it was discouraging at first, frustrating, 
Um, but, you know, I gave, myself, I gave myself some time to go through those emotions. And then after that, you know, I knew I had to turn the switch and I had to really turn my mental game into a me versus me. And I was going to win every time. I was going to make sure that I attacked every day, every rub, anything. I was going to attack that joint so that, you know, my knee can get to the spot that I wanted to get to so the 2.0 can be real. Being able to dial in and lock into my body fully, you know, I'm rehabbing my knee, but I'm also training my mind, my mind, and, my, and the rest of my body to be able to be at the the peak of the peak of peaks for myself. And I see my body changing. I see everything changing. I see my mindset, my mentality, things changing, and it's it's going in the right direction i feel that 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 whole two point two point oh being able to mold like i feel like I, I after the surgery i became you know wet clay again and it's almost like you you molded it back up into the spot that you wanted to you get to go in and, and fix the things that you know might you might not have, have loved but you might not have had the time to actually really go in and fix that I'm working on it every day. Like I don't let, I don't allow myself to become complacent because I know that at the end of the day, if I don't do what I'm supposed to do, I'm not cheating nobody but myself. Everything that has happened to me, whether good or bad, has got me to the spot that I'm in now. And um, I'm not gonna start questioning it now. I'm just gonna keep, you know, stacking them days to turn into weeks, to turn into the months. And then you look up and, um, you know, I'll be in the spot that I wanna be in at nine months. Just looking back, I think life has prepared me for, you know, this moment, this opportunity. Um, you know, throughout my life when I was younger, I moved around a lot, different homes, uh, different neighborhoods, communities. So uh, that's been the story of my life, and I think that you know, everything happens for a reason. And I'm in this opportunity now, in this position now, to just come in and make an impact, whether it's leadership or on the football field. Be myself, you know, that's my most important thing. I look in the mirror every day and ask myself, am I being real with myself? And that's what I want to come here and do, just be the best version of Teddy I could be, but also thorough and genuine. You look at the roster and you just sit back and say, wow, man, this is a talented football team. Um, have guys who can, you know, change games, guys who can give you explosive plays, guys who can move the sticks, guys who can do different things. And um, I'm just happy to be a part of you know, this offense, be a part of this team, uh, not just the offense, because the defense has some stars as well. So um, when you look at the overall roster, you, you can't do anything but smile knowing that it's an opportunity for you to just come in and succeed. Hey, Coach, what about practice today? <laughs> What's practice? Practice? Practice is still day, 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 now, welcome to uh, Sugar Baby Sugar Factory. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Brett, come here. White chocolate right here. What we got? So we look. I don't like how that one sounds. That say tiger blood. That's strawberry coconut. Okay, but it gotta be tiger blood. Why y'all had to name it that? Good. We gonna do that, right? What you got, pink lemonade? Groovy little grape. We gonna do the uh, the monster mango. So you just putting stuff on there? Yeah, yep, 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 and a little strawberry. It has monster mango, but you won't do yep. tiger's blood. Why you didn't do the cotton candy? Because you weird. Nobody do cotton candy. <laughs> Alright, I put I put a little bit on yeah, top. Put a little bit on the top. Move, man. Jerry, 
Cotton candy. Oh, yeah. George. Redemption. We're gonna put it down. Twenty, twenty. Bruno. <laughs> oh. oh yeah. You been too late, man. Five, Hey, that's my boy right now. That's my boy. I thought I had it. That boy. It's like these guys have poor aim, so it's not bad. <laughs> Does that speak on your talent evaluation? Yeah, pretty much. Oh, Shelby's been the worst. Lucky back. Hey, somebody stand behind the kid, Shelby, bro. You better have a big, better have a big tight end. He got me. What you say? I, I talk too much. Poor aim, right? Poor yep. Aim. Bad aim. Oh, yes, sir. Count us up. Oh, hit nukes. Count us up! Count us up! Oh! Dude, it's the worst right here! This is the worst! Woo! Oh, I, I get out of here! It's out! Jesus! Oh, dude, come on, man! Bad pitch! Bad pitch there! Oh, no! Money, you gotta have this one. Oh no! Bad pitch, dude! Hey, hey, hey. Sleep, sleep, sleep. I'm, I'm debating. A lot at stake here today. In my head right now, I'm really thinking, like, do I let some other guys win today? Because last time we were playing, it was just a clean sweep, so. Hey, boy, boy. Money ball. Give me that money ball. Come on, come over here to cool off a little bit. Just try taking this win. It hasn't set in yet, but um, you know I just had to go up there and establish it. Go five for five. And make everybody a little nervous when they step up there. We could have wrapped it up in about five minutes, just missed your first one, and it's game over. But you know, we wanted to keep it fair, keep it friendly. You know, give the give the guys that didn't win. Thank you so much. Actually, you know, I feel like they did something today, but it feels good to say the least. <laughs> We gave Jesse Simmons all the, all the damn money. We couldn't even get a decent rope, man. Grown man. Little boy. Grown man. You can get your hat for BB. Everyone get your hat for BB. You guys ready? You guys ready? All right, here we go. Let's that thing, man. Good fun by all. Yes, Great sir. off season. Yes, sir. Don't let go of the rope the next five weeks. Yes, hey man, hey, hey, stay focused, stay solid over this break, man. Come back ready to go, man. Yes, hey, ground up through, ground up through. One, two, three. Bro.